Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plugs. In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this beautiful helical bever, uh, bevel gear assembly in Fusion 360. So basically, we will be using some revolve command to make the shaft and the steps around it. And later part of the video, in the later part of the video, we will be using some lofted command to make a loft between this uh, star-like structure and a smaller star-like structure. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. Let's get started. So go to new workspace and we will be starting by making a simple sketch on the very first plane. So click on a sketch and on the first, first plane. Now we will be uh, start by making a line from the origin on right side like this. Press D for dimension and make this line as 163 mm. And now draw some uh, profiles like I am doing here with one step and go like this and second step and go like this and third one and just on top of this point like this and join it. Now we have a close sketch. So just make one, two, three step uh, staircase. Press D for dimension make this dimension as 45 mm make this dimension as 5 this is going to be 32.5 this one is going to be 36 like this and just drag it out like this press d for dimension this one is going to be 39 and this one is going to be 38 okay yeah okay done so now once done now i'm going to uh assign the uh, uh, other dimensions so from this point to this point this is going to be 112 mm like this and from this point to this point this is going to be a TMM like this. Okay, let's make it 50, not 80. Now, once done, let's make it 30. Okay, yeah, fine. Now, once done, press C for circle. From this point, draw a circle of 20 mm diameter. Press D for dimension. And from this point to this point, give it a rent of 20 mm now finish the sketch go to revolve select out this profile and the axis would be the center axis and go switch to new component and press ok now we have a revolve component here press shift and n to enable the color toggle assembly uh, to make your body looks more beautiful now click on sketch and select on this very face and we will be start by making two circles. Draw two circles slightly bigger than uh, this circle here. Press D for dimension. For the outer circle, let's make it 170. And from the inner circle, let's make it 100. Yeah, seems fine. Press line, switch on the construction mode, draw one vertical line like this. Once done, switch off the construction mode, go to three point arc. And from this point to this point, draw an arc like this. Press D for dimension. From this point to this line, give the horizontal dimension as 6. And from the line to the bottom line point, give the horizontal dimension as 15. And finally, the radius of this arc is going to be 65. Now, once done, click on mirror command. Select on this line. Switch on the... <coughs> The mirror line would be the center line and press OK. Press T for trim and trim the circle like this. We don't need it now. Now once done, go to create, go to circular pattern, select the object which we need for circular pattern. So select the curve 1, curve 2, curve 3 and the center point would be the origin point and the angular spacing would be full and the quantity is going to be 8 like this and press ok once done again press t and 
remove the center profile that is coming on these teeth. Now we have a beautiful uh, complete sketch. You may finish the sketch. Okay, 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 okay. I just made a mistake here. Let's go to edit the sketch. Press T for trim. And I'm going to make an arc from here to here. Now to make this, go to create arc, go to arc, go to uh, center point arc, click on the center, click on this point and this point and make an arc to make this uh, sketch completed. Now once we have our sketch closed, you may finish the sketch. Now once finished, just hide the component for now. Oh no, let's go to extrude and extrude this profile. Uh, uh, let's say up to 1 mm or anything we don't need this extrusion so let's make it a new body instead of new component and press ok we will be making this uh, uh, we are making actually this extrude in order to project the geometry in the future uh, in the future part of the video so basically this is not going to be the part of your assembly now once done just hide the body for now and we have one sketch here yeah now click on construction and offset plane and from this plane offset up create an offset plane at a distance of 45 mm like this click on create a sketch and on this very sketch we will be making some beautiful sketches so just hide the sketch for now and bring back the body Go to create, go to project, click on project and select the geometry as this and just uncheck the projection link and press OK. Now hide the body and we have a profile here. So we just needed that star that we have just extruded in order to project the Cosfusion 360 still don't allow us to project the sketch. Uh, yeah, it does allow if you just click in profile you can project a particular line but as as far as the whole body is concerned whole profile is concerned you need to be uh, uh, be using a, a solid body so once done what i'm going to do just hide the star for now and the construction one of course go to modify and go to move now select all the sketches like this once get selected, select the pivot point on the center and click on OK. Now rotate the sketch anti-clockwise or clockwise, it's all your choice. So we will be making an anti-clock rotation at 15 degrees like this and press OK. Now again go to modify, go to sketch scale, select all the sketches and point would be the center point click on the center point like this and it will ask you about the ratio so i am going to scale this down up to a factor of 0 0.75 0 0.75 and press ok now if I just bring out the second star so we what we have here is a smaller version of the previous sketch at a rotation of 15 degrees anti-clockwise. Now you may finish the sketch. Now again bring back the component number one. Again repeat the same step construction a plane. This time instead of 45 mm we will be making a construction plane at 95. So make a plane at 95 okay make it at a distance of 95 95 and press ok just bring back just hide the sketch and hide the second one also now again click on this sketch and remove repeat the same step that we have uh, created earlier 
P for project, click on this, press on OK, just hide this body, go to modify, go to copy and move, select all these point, select the pivot point at the center and rotate it. This time instead of 15 degrees, we are going to rotate it up to a, a let's say 30 degree. Yeah, so rotate it 30 degree. Uh, this much and press ok again go to modify go to scale select all the sketch deselect the center point and select the point ok we need to deselect it select the point and this time the ratio is going to be 0 0.5 we are making it half the actual sketch now bring back all the three sketches like this and of course the component the mother component that we have created in the first part of the video go to create go to loft and click on press control and click on these two profiles so this is going to be our first profile leave control and select on this profile now as you guys can see it has automatically selected the point so you guys can manually change the point but i think that every point is at their desired location now again click on this point and just press join the operation will be join and press ok now just hide the sketch and the basic structure of your uh, lofted uh, helical bevel gear is completed now click on a sketch select on this plane press c for circle make a circle of dia 30 mm click the sketch and make a hole in between now again go to select face select this face and just right on top of this face draw a rectangle just i'm making this just to illustrate you guys how to make this profile draw once done click on this face and extrude it Up to this point and okay now once done go to create go to pattern go to circular pattern select the type as features and from the features click on the last extruded part click on the um, axis as center axis and let's say 25 25 seems to be okay and press okay now once done all the thing that needs to be done is uh, give the radius so for that click on fill it and select all the edges in the body uh, depending on your system performance this might take one minute or two and press on uh, just give let's give the radius of 1 mm and once done uh, press ok and wait for your system to response